don't you talk to your mum again? See if you can join the family after the show. I don't know, maybe a day or two later. And how can I join them? Port Macquarie is five hours from here. And it's not only that, Jason's only coming up for a couple of days. Well, you either say no to Hayden or you say no to your family. It's not fair, is it? We get to have a proper Christmas and then this room Shahid get nothing. You don't know that. Trust me, I've seen inside the house. They have nothing. Got a long way to go. Let's get in the bath. Come on. Mum, you sent me to Outriders to teach me about responsibility. I am being responsible. Then perhaps it's time you finished up at Outriders. What? Three, two, one! I'm sorry, Hayden, but I can't be in your show. I hope you're joking, Reggie. I hate myself for letting you guys down, and I'm sorry, but I can't do anything about it. They've got my father. Please, you have to help me. You know, you've really done Hayden into a big pile of trouble. He'll never be able to replace you, not now. You don't understand. Well, so tell me, why won't you be in the show? Because I can't. It's a family thing, I can't explain it. You probably wouldn't even believe me. Listen, Mel, Reggie didn't mean for this oh, Come on, if she wasn't going to be around for the show, why'd she agree to be in it? Well, she didn't know her brother was flying in from the States. So? She can still be in the show, can't she? Look, he's only here for two days. If she doesn't spend Christmas with her family, then her mum will force her to leave Outriders for good. It'd be like a death sentence for her. And now it's like a death sentence for us. I'm really sorry, Mel. None of us wanted this to happen. Why didn't you say something? At least we'd have some warning. Well, because we were hoping Reggie could still do the show. What about the other night? When we were talking about how important it is to keep your word. Well, I can explain, okay? But just forget it, Vince. It's too late now. You should have. You should have told me then. Reggie told me about the business with the show. Tough break, eh? You can say that again. What's Hayden gonna do? I don't know. I suppose I'll go with one rider short and do the best I can. And uh, what does Mel think about that? Don't ask. That bad, eh? Even worse. I have a friend. He's a lawyer. He might be able to help you. No! Malesh, Malesh. It's the only way. If you and your family want any chance of staying in Australia as refugees, you have to give yourselves up to the authorities. No. I'm sorry. We will leave. Oh. Well, you can't keep running. Where will you go? How will you live? You said she would help us. She is. Running away would only mean more problems. Anissa, please. Listen, it's the right thing. Now, do you and your family have any personal papers that you might have brought from home, like a passport, identity papers? Kept them hidden. Where? At the house. OK, we'll drive over in the morning and get them. When will you be back? 28th, I think. After Jason flies out. Unless Mum wants us to stay for New Year's Eve. Ugh. New Year's Eve with the rules, eh? Doesn't get any better. Please, don't even begin to mention that. Yeah, well, at least you've got relatives to stay with. It's more than I have. Vince, I'm sorry about all the troubles that I've caused you. Especially with Mel. Yeah, well, they're heading for Brisbane next week. Then Perth. Who knows where after that? Probably won't even see her again. Still, she's OK. Even though she did bag me out. Yeah. You did the right thing, though, you know? And I hate to say it, but... I'd miss you if you had to leave Outriders for good. 
Thanks, Vince. Ah, oh, you big dag. <laughs> You need this? What is it? Pal Room Co. Oh, that's my brother's letter. Thanks, Vince. I wonder where that went. Pal Room Co, that's his company in New York. It's a weird name, huh? Yeah, it is, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Night, Vince. Uh, yes, hi. I was wondering if you would give me a number in the US. Okay, it's it's a company name, Pal Rimco, in New York. They've gone. Someone's taken them. Would your father have them? No. He didn't have time to get them. This horse is Bella. Bella. <laughs> In here. Go, quick. Can I help you guys with anything? Is the boss around? Oh, no. Sorry, she's away. You know when she'll be back? We're from the government investigation unit. Stay there. Do you understand? Don't. Move. Is there something wrong? It's just routine. We've uh, heard some reports of some illegal immigrants hiding in the area. We're talking to everyone. We're looking for these two kids in particular. If you could keep an eye out for them, we'd appreciate it. Here's our number. If you see anything. Uh, sure, I'll let Tori know. OK. <laughs> now, that's a beautiful animal. I've got a daughter who loves horses. Oh, really? Maybe I should bring her up here sometime. Yeah, great. Weekends are probably the best time. It's always pestering me to buy one. You know, we think this horse has got a virus or something. Oh, it's a mystery thing. Wouldn't, wouldn't go too close far as you. Yeah, yeah, nothing serious, you know. It's just uh, precautionary. Right. We're gonna go. Well, thanks for your help. Oh, and I hope your horse gets better. Hey, Mum, I'm home. Hi. Do you want me to put my bag in the car? You can, but we'll just be taking it back to Outriders. Why? Looks like you're going to get your wish after all. Mum, what are you saying? Jason rang this morning. He's had to change his plans. Oh, no. What's happened? Oh, something to do with his company. I don't know the exact details, but he's not coming. Sorry, Mum. And poor Dad. You guys must feel terrible. Yeah, well, we are disappointed. But your Dad and I talked it over, and we both feel we think you should do your horse show. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. <laughs> well, right now, I think you should get on the phone and tell them you're available. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. <Mark. laughs> Is there anyone else who knew where the papers were? No. We've got a problem. Where's Shahib? That's the problem. We can't find him. Well, where did you last see him? Well, we were down at the stables. We had a visit from those government guys. When? About ten minutes ago. They're talking to everyone in the district. And they had passport photos of Shahib and Anissa. Well, at least we know where the papers have gone. Yeah, well, he must have recognised them and taken off. Listen, Vince, um, get the bike. And Shane, saddle up a couple of horses. No, wait. He wouldn't go back into the bush again. Not after last time. Well, where would he go, then? In the evenings. My father took him down to the beach. Well, which beach? I don't know. I, I wasn't with them. He was talking about rocks. Climbing big rocks. It's half the beaches in Sydney. Yeah, well, it's obviously one of the closer ones. Uh, Long Neck or The Point? Come on, let's get some radios. Guys, guess what? I'm back in the show. Shaheeb's thrown away. You go to the rehearsal. When you get back, call us on the radio. Are 
you sure you don't want me to come? No, we've got enough to search the two beaches. Besides, Hayden needs you. It's just a rehearsal. Yes, a final rehearsal. Oh, come when I'm finished, then. Just go, Reggie. We want to see a terrific show tomorrow. Let me know, Hayden. as soon as we find anything. OK, this is what you tell him. It's safe to come back now. Malesh Taho. Malesh Taho. That's it. OK, Anissa and I'll stay here as a relay point. OK, you guys head off. And don't forget to keep in touch. Doors open. Oh, I thought Hayden was coming. Outside in the car. Right. I, uh, sometimes my mouth runs ahead of my brain. I'm sorry about what I said to you yesterday. If I was in your place, I probably would have said the same. I'm sorry about your brother, too. But I'd be lying if I didn't say I'm glad you can do the show now. Yeah. I just don't want to let anyone down. You won't. You'll have the best time of your life. Thanks, Reggie. Wait till after the show. Then you can thank me, I hope. How are you going, Shane? Anything yet? Nothing yet. You have a look up there and I'll check out the point. Anything that Shahid might have said? Something that might give us a clue? Just the rocks. I'm sorry. It's all right. Don't worry. We'll find him. Jake, how are you going? No, I can't find him. Vince, can you see him? Nothing up here, Jake. OK, girls, mount up. Let's do it. All right, Reggie, you've made it this far. No half measures. Go for it. And remember, have fun. OK. Let's go. <laughs> OK, girls, move them around. Keep up a good pace. Come on, Susie, pick it up. Do a step down on the way through. Step down on the way through. That's it. Nice and tight. That's it. Keep them out. Reggie, very good. Very good. Move them out wide. That's it. Move them out. Come on, Susie. Move up. Pick that horse up. That's it. Good girl. Keep your mind on the job. Pick it up. That's the girl. Spot on. for today.
Okay, Harry. No, both the children are here now. I could bring them in to you in the morning. Okay. A and thank you. Have you made up their beds yet? Yeah, about half an hour ago. Look, I've organised a lawyer to look after you. He'll talk to immigration and take you to see your dad. We'll go and meet him in the morning. Tori, what about Reggie's show? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, we can't miss that. This lawyer friend of yours seems like a pretty good guy. I'm sure a couple of hours won't make any difference, will it? Guys, I really appreciate your support, but it's only a horse show. Only a horse show, after all we've been through. I suppose Anissa and Shahid might enjoy it. Mum? All right, all right. I'll call Harry. Make sure it's OK. Is that you too? Oh, uh, yes, he's parking the car. You know what he's like. <sighs> Mum, thanks for coming and, and thanks for letting me be in the show. Mm. Well, we had to, really. Had to? Mm. Otherwise, this guy would never have forgiven us. Good day, stranger. Hey, Jason! <laughs> <laughs> oh, take it easy. Anyone would think we hadn't seen each other for two years. What are you doing here? Mum said that you couldn't come. Yeah, I got here this morning. The flight almost killed me, so I hope you're worth it. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, my darling, but it was so sudden and, and we wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> I thought you couldn't make it today. I thought it'd be impossible. Blame it on some friend of yours called Vince. Vince? He rang the office in New York. I don't know how we did it, but somehow he got through to my boss and told him the whole story. And the next thing I know, my boss rings me and insists I get on a plane to Sydney straight away. Vince, hey, wait till I get a hold of him. <laughs> I'll say this for him, he must be pretty persuasive. <laughs> That's only half of it. Hey, Reggie. Hey, Dad. Uh, Reggie, are you ready to go? Oh, no, I haven't had time to get butterflies. Mm, sounds like the perfect preparation. Come on. Wish me luck. Mm, good, good luck, luck my sweetie. darling. We'll be cheering you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Jace. Coach, Reggie gonna do an okay job? Vince, I heard about what you did for her brother. Amazing. Boy, do we owe you big time. So does this mean you're speaking to me again? I'm the one that should be asking you that. I don't even know how to start apologising. So don't. Just promise me you'll get in touch when you come back next year. Cross my heart and hope to be a tree frog. <laughs> Got something for you. Here, some present for you. Hadaya la ilek. Shukran. 
He said thank you. Ah, oh, that's all right. I could never win on it anyway. Anissa, Shahib. This is Harry. He'll be looking after you. Hi there. Anissa, Shahib. Anissa, Shahib. Mama. Take care. And we'll keep in touch. Thank you. You have been so kind to us. Good luck, mate. Shukran. Thanks, Harry. Not really much of a Christmas for them, is it? I spoke to a lawyer this morning. Asked him to say hello to Anissa and Shahid for us. What'd he say? Will they be able to stay in Australia? It's gonna take ages to sort out all the legal stuff, Jake. They've just gotta wait. Hi, Will. And you. Julia, it's your dad. Hi, Dad. Merry Christmas. Oh, we're just about to have lunch now. Prawns and salads at the beach. It's what? Berlin's had over 10 centimeters of snow. It must look beautiful. Here? Oh, well, I guess it's just your average Christmas day at the beach. Nothing special. 